Hi everyone, I'm Claire. I'm coming to you from the actual National Space Centre today because we are open. A huge thank you to everyone who's visited us so far. Now it's sci-fi week, so I'm on the first deck of our rocket tower in our Edwardian theatre because that 118th anniversary of the first ever science fiction film, George Millet's A Trip to the Moon. Le Voyage dans la Lune, or A Trip to the Moon, was loosely based on the novels From the Earth to the Moon by Jules Verne and The First Men in the Moon by H.G. Wells. They're known as the fathers of science fiction, along with Hugo Gernsback, who founded the first magazine dedicated to science fiction, Amazing Stories. Science fiction is hard to define. It had its beginnings in ancient times, with myths and stories containing elements of science fiction. People have written of space as far back as the Greeks, but what people see as the first sci-fi novel is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Science fiction inspired real-life space exploration. The fathers of rocketry, Konstantin Tsiolkovsky and Hermann Ober, were inspired by sci-fi novels and films. Sci-fi has predicted, or inspired, things we use in real life, like the use of robots, self-driving cars and even video calling. So come and visit the National Space Centre to see for yourselves how far we've come in real-life space exploration and in science fiction. And then, when you get home, why not create your own moon from the first science fiction film using tinfoil and paint? You'll need a piece of paper, black card, white and black paint, tinfoil, glue, a pen, a pencil, an old toothbrush and scissors. Before I put my paints on it, I drew around my plate to get a moon shape. Then screw up your tinfoil to make a stamp. Dip it in your paint and start printing. I mix my black and white paint to make it grey. When you're happy with your moon, leave it to dry. Whilst it's drying, create your background. Take your old toothbrush and dip it into your white paint then flick it onto your black card to create a starry sky. Then if you want to create your own moon from the film, you need a rocket. I drew mine on black card and used a gold pen to add some detail. With my moon dry, I cut it out. I did this after so I didn't have to worry about staying in the lines. Stick it onto your background. then glue on your rocket. Now draw on some disgruntled features. I copied a picture from the film. I'd be annoyed if I got a rocket to the eye. And there you have your very own annoyed moon from La Voyage de la Lune, the first sci-fi film. <laughs>